starting calisthenics in med school. good everyone today I'm gonna share why I recently started training calisthenics and outline my training goals for the year the topic of this video is a little different from my previous medical school content but fitness is actually one of my favorite things to talk about working out keeps you mentally sharp and makes you more productive I study more when I'm in good physical condition I eat healthier and I'm just happier in general. I hope this video motivates you to set some of your own fitness goals, whether you're studying medicine or not. So I started training calisthenics during COVID because of course all the gyms in Poland were closed. At first I was just doing muscle ups and running, but a few months ago I ordered a home pull up bar on Allegro, which is like the Polish Amazon. And I started playing with movements like the front lever, the ring muscle up, and the handstand push up. When I say playing, that's fairly accurate because I'm really struggling to perform most of these movements. Calisthenics is quite challenging, and that's part of what makes it so fun. When the lockdown first hit and gyms shut down, I went into kind of a funk. I've been weight training since I was 13 years old, and without access to a gym, I got lazy, I was drinking too much, and not studying enough. That's when I started experimenting with calisthenics, and it has really filled that void for me. Body weight training is a great workout. It's also a good way to meet people because you can do street workout just about anywhere. The first movement is the straddle front lever. The proper front lever should be performed with legs horizontal to the ground, but I'm not strong enough to do it yet. As you can see, I've got about a 45 degree bend at my hips, so I've got to develop a more core strength in order to decrease this angle and flatten out my legs. My goal is to hold the straddle front lever for 5 seconds. Here I'm doing some negatives or eccentrics to build up core strength. The second movement is the straddle back lever, which is identical to the front lever but with your arms extended behind you rather than in front. Again, I'm not yet beast enough to perform this movement and I'm more or less collapsing through the horizontal plane. Here I'm working on some tucked straddle or frog back levers to build up more core strength. As with the front lever, my legs should be completely horizontal to the ground, and my goal is to hold this movement for 5 seconds. Next up is the handstand push-up. Currently I'm only able to do handstand push-ups with the support of a wall, and I'm only able to do one rep in a set. When I go for two reps in a set, I wind up getting stuck in this position which is not ideal. So I really need to develop my overhead pushing strength. And that's why I'm working on these pike push-ups. The idea here is to emulate the handstand push-up but with less weight stacked over your shoulders. And these are quite difficult for me. My legs are shaking here. My goal is to work up to sets of five handstand push-ups on the wall and sets of two or three freestanding handstand push-ups without the wall. Of course, before I can do any real handstand push-ups, I need to first learn how to balance a handstand. My inverted balance is not terrific. These are actually some of my better attempts. The Stalder Press. This is an exercise where you press into a handstand from the straddle position and then lower your body back to the ground into a straddle sit. When done properly, the Stalder Press is a truly graceful movement. What I'm doing here is working on the eccentric portion of the movement, 
because I'm not yet strong enough to press into a handstand. Even these partial reps are very difficult for me. I've got to work on balance, shoulder strength, and core strength. The Stalder press also requires good hip mobility. I'd say I have a decent amount of flexibility, but improving my pancake stretch and splits should make handstand presses a little easier. Next up is one of my favorites, the ring muscle up. I'm not including bar muscle ups because I'm pretty comfortable with those already, but ring muscle ups on the other hand are a bit harder for me. Currently I can do 3 or 4 reps in a set. I'd like to increase my endurance to 6 reps in a set, which would almost match my bar muscle up. The ring muscle up is an essential exercise in part because it transitions nicely into movements like the L-sit. You can play around with dips, L-sits and flutter kicks, and work just about every muscle in your body. You can also transition into more advanced movements like the Iron Cross, which is the next goal on my list. You'll notice I'm working on the L-sit variation of the Iron Cross, and I'm doing this because it's gentler on my shoulders. I find the standard Iron Cross pinches my anterior shoulder capsule a bit. Plus, when you're holding an L-sit on rings, it sort of feels like you're floating. My goal is to hold the L-sit Iron Cross for 3 seconds. This is an assisted version that shortens the lever, so I'm able to get deeper in the movement than I otherwise would. And finally, we have the planche, which is one of, if not the most challenging strength movements in all of gymnastics. When done properly, your entire body weight is supported on your hands with your legs fully extended in a horizontal plane. Here I'm doing straddle planche leans because I'm just not strong enough to lift my feet off the ground yet. The planche requires tremendous shoulder and core strength as well as good strength to weight ratio, so the stronger and lighter you are, the more attainable this movement will be. I've heard it can take a year or more to develop planche strength, and some athletes never attain it. These are some accessory exercises. You can see I'm trying to swing back into that frog planche position. That wraps up my new calisthenics training goals. I'm hoping to hit these marks sometime in 2021. I'll be posting updates periodically alongside my medical school content. If you're interested, I'll break down my workout split in another video so you can see exactly what exercises I do on a daily basis and how I schedule my training sessions around studying and lectures. Thank you for watching. Again, I hope this video motivates you or even just gives you some new exercise ideas. See you in the next video.